You can study in the morning, you can study at night. You can study outside by a campfire light. You can study with the rabbi. It's time to admit it. I'm old. And my kids are growing up. And I can't stop them. My three girls are growing up. My youngest is in first grade. My eldest is graduating high school this year. She's already applied to and gotten into colleges. I'm getting old. I think about this week's Torah portion when, when Jacob comes to the realization that he's getting old. He realizes that his days are about to pass. I'm not going anywhere. Don't worry. I'm not dying. But for Jacob, he sees this moment as his children have grown up as a moment to offer them a blessing. But the blessing that he offers them is so different than the kind of blessing that I want to and have the capacity to offer my children. The blessing that Jacob gives to his children as they begin to go off into their almost adult lives is to tell them what their roles will be in the world. He says to, um, to uh, Judah that from his, from his family, from his tribe, there will come kings. He tells Dan that from his tribe will come the judges. He tells Naphtali that he'll be swift as a deer and Benjamin will be fierce as a wolf. He seems to know where all of his children are going. He seems to know what their lives will, will bring for them and, and, and carry for them. I too have blessings for my girls, but I have no idea where they're going. And that's part of the magic of watching them grow up and part of the beauty of me getting older is that they have each surprised me in such astounding ways. I never would have imagined seeing Dahlia accomplish all that she's accomplished. I, I could never imagine the, the, the secure and confident and strong woman that Ayelet is becoming. And I never could have imagined how precious Naomi would be, how funny, how joyful. Each of my girls has their own path. And while I would love to bless them with joy and love and all the things that they need to be successful and to find peace in their lives, I can't for a moment imagine where they're going to go next. Unlike Jacob. And I love it. I can't wait for the next surprise that my girls will give me as I get older and as they grow up. Talking Torah.